The Cudahy man, accused in an extreme case of identity theft, is expected to plead guilty tomorrow in federal court. He's charged with stealing the identity of a little boy who died in 1957. And now the I-Team has learned the fascinating story of how he was caught. Steve Shamraz is here with what he's uncovered. Steve? Guys, court documents show David Urchel was ultimately done in by his driver's license. That and some new technology quietly working to keep all of us safe. Most people know this man by the name he was born with, David Urchel. Wonder if you could tell me about this little boy right here. Though federal prosecutors say Urchel had a second name, an identity stolen from this little boy. Jimmy Bell Isle died in 1957 at just 12 years old. Can you explain to his family why you stole this boy's life? But how was David Urchel caught after nearly three decades of living that double life? The I-Team has discovered how the feds put all that together starts here, at the Department of Motor Vehicles, and a computer system you probably know nothing about. We understand that we are in the identity management business and we take that very seriously. Christina Boardman runs Wisconsin's DMV. She is determined to stop a stranger from putting their face on a license with your name. You cannot attach your name to someone else's identity that will be caught through the system. They don't talk much about that system, but since 2006, it has been running quietly in the background at DMV headquarters. It fights to protect your identity by by using something totally unique to you, your face. Here's how it works. Using a bunch of data points like chin shape, ear height, and distance between your eyes, it compares your driver's license photo to every other picture in the system. The DMV says that is how David Urchel was caught. In May 2016, Urchel went to the DMV to renew his real driver's license. His photo matched with the photo on file for the fake license of James Bell Isle. So the DMV took action. This is um, two different identities. It is definitely the same image. So we are able to stop that. That also stopped a list of frauds the feds say Urchel ran since 1985, including collecting government benefits and voter fraud, casting a ballot as Jimmy Bell Isle seven times since 2012. You had a car accident and you identified yourself as little Jimmy? After avoiding the truth for years, it appears David Urchel is about to face justice. The end of the road, all because of the photo on his driver's license. So how often does this system catch identity theft? Just last year, it flagged 800 photos for potential fraud. Those were cases shared with the State Justice Department for possible prosecution. David Urchel is scheduled to plead guilty in the morning. We'll have more on that tomorrow, live at 10. Wow, fascinating technology. Thank you, Steve.